there are really two distinct theoretical models to account for drug distribution. The first is a traditional model. The second model takes into consideration the action of drug transporters which are expressed on the membranes of various cells and tissue compartments. It is important for us to understand the workings of these two models because basically they help us understand at least part of the reason why uh, individuals may differ in terms of their drug responses. In the traditional model, it is thought that the unbound drug concentrations freely and passively permeate across membranes and equilibrate between the various theoretical compartments of the body. This it does so because of the uh, unique physical chemical properties of the drug molecule. And the key word here is really equilibrate because it means that given time, the concentrations in the central compartment will be exactly the same as what you may observe in the effect compartment as well as the toxicity compartment. So what you observe in the central compartment adequately explains uh, the effect that you may observe as well as the toxicity that you may expect. In other words, uh, between two individuals, the ratio between effect and toxicity will pretty much be the same. This second model takes into consideration the action of drug transporters which are expressed on the membranes of various cells and tissue compartments. And because the expression of these transporters are unique for every membrane and differentially expressed across uh, various tissue compartments, uh, these drug transporters has the potential of moving selectively uh, drug molecules into certain compartments and not others. And therefore, the concentrations of unbound drug that you observe in the central compartment may not adequately explain any concentrations that you observe in the infect compartment or in the toxicity compartment. In some instances, the concentrations in the effect compartment can be very, very high. Um, and the concentrations in the toxicity compartment can be very, very low compared to what you can actually observe in the central compartment. Alternatively, the concentrations in the toxicity compartment can be very, very high and the effect compartment concentrations can be very, very low compared to the central compartment. In these two scenarios, the concentrations in the central compartment are exactly the same, but the efficacy toxicity ratio is different between the two scenarios. And this second model for drug uh, distribution, which takes into consideration the action of drug transporters, is the definitive model that we use nowadays to understand drug distribution. In this model, we understand that what you observe in the central compartment may not explain what you expect to see in the effect compartment nor in the toxicity compartment. And the effect toxicity ratio of any drug between individuals can be different because the expression of transporters, the membranes of uh, various individuals can actually be different.